Are you searching for exciting job opportunities in Ontario, Canada? Then look no further because I'll be introducing a list of 10 occupations that have excellent LMIA approval for foreign workers, even without a university degree. Ontario has a wide range of job prospects that can provide stability and growth in your career. Imagine a place where you are valued for your skills, where your dedication is recognized, and where your dreams can thrive. Ontario is a place where all this becomes possible. So I would encourage you to watch this video until the end as we are going to be exploring the 10 occupations and we are going to be doing this in almost all the provinces in Canada so that you can be properly guided. But before we continue, if you're seeing this smiling face for the first time, you are welcome. My name is Ami. I talk about relocation and studying abroad. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hit the subscribe button below and ensure that your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Please don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to others. It is a great way of supporting my channel. Share my videos with your friends and your loved ones and keep watching. Hello guys, you welcome to Immigrate with Army. So the purpose of this video is to show you how you can easily find LMIA approved jobs in any of your desired provinces. So we are going to be picking one of the provinces today and I'm going to be showing you one of the tips that I usually use for people who need LMIA approved job in different locations or different territories or different provinces in Canada. Let's start from this particular data, all right, which is one of the numerous information that is usually published by Canada Immigration. But this one has to do with the list of all LMIA approved jobs in every quarter of every year. Okay, so this is the latest report that was actually published in June 2023. All right, and this shows you that in the first quarter of 2023, how many LMIA jobs and how many positions were approved for Canadian employers to actually hire people from outside Canada. So the data is sorted by, you know, by province, is sorted by the employer, is sorted by the occupation code, and then it's also sorted by the number of approved positions for each of these LMIA approvals. This data doesn't really make sense. So, so what I did is that I've simplified it, I've summarized it on this pivot, okay, which gives me more information, all right? So we are going to start with Ontario today, okay? For example, in the first quarter of 2023 in Ontario, all right, there were a total of 15,721 LMIA approved positions or job vacancies in Ontario. What this means is that only in the province of Ontario, employers could actually hire 15,721 foreign workers already approved by the government. And then on this pivot, you can see the various occupations, okay, the occupation code. You can also see the number of positions that were approved for each of the job categories. For example, the highest has to do with general farm workers and there were 6,514 different approvals. And the second highest one was for cooks. The third highest was for food service supervisors. And you can see the respective NOC categories. So the job category number, you can see them there. What is the purpose of this information and how does this information translate to you getting a job in Canada? So let's talk more about this data. And then I'm going to show you how you can use this data to find a job in Canada in a very easy way. So let's start with this data summarization. Okay, so basically what this data shows is the employers who were issued a positive labor market impact assessment. What it means is that they have received the authorization to hire foreign workers who are currently outside of Canada. That's it number one thing. So that is what this data set shows. How does this help you? Now, what you need to understand is that this kind of information does not really have an impact on people who are already within Canada. 
right who have you know work visas in canada who are already permanent resident this information is published for people who are looking for job opportunities in canada who are currently outside canada so this information will help them to find exactly what is their chances or what is the probability of them getting a job in a particular knock category or job category in a particular province okay so basically how does this help you fast track your job search i will make a list of the steps and then we'll do a live demonstration in this video okay so first open the federal job bank all right the second one is filter by the desired province so you are looking for a job in ontario it's always better if your jobs are focused so don't just start applying for jobs randomly you can go province by province so filter by your desired province in this case in this demonstration we are using ontario as our case study the third one is organize this data by the job category so for knock so 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 how many approvals were given for not so 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 how many approvals were given i've already shown you that in my summary the next thing is sort by jobs with highest number of lmi approvals so basically the more the number of approvals in a given job the more opportunity you have to find the job in that particular job category that is how it works okay once you do all of this filter and you do all of this sorting and organization it will give you the list of jobs for which employers in canada have received authorizations to hire foreign workers and for which you have a higher probability of getting a job i've made a list of the top 10 occupations for which international applicants can easily get a job in ontario as at now so we are using that latest data all right to arrive at this decision so what you can see here these 10 occupations are the occupations for which it is easiest for you as an international applicant to get a job in ontario and you can already see on the on the right hand side the number of lmia approved positions that employers in these job sectors have gotten in ontario what it means is that for example, employers in Canada can hire as much as 6,414 general farm workers because they have already received authorizations for the LMI, basically. For cooks, they can hire up to 808. For food service supervisors, they can hire up to 681. So this is what this information means for you. Now, let's do a little bit of demonstration of how we can use this information to find a job in Canada. So come with me. Let's do a little bit of demonstration. So we are starting with the cooks, okay, which is like the second highest opportunity in, in Ontario at the moment. So cooks. So what you would do is first go to Canada Job Bank, open the Canada Job Bank website, okay? Once you get there, click on the advanced search button at the top of the page, advanced search. Once you click on it, it's going to bring you to this page that you are seeing here, okay? So you can see it's advanced search, okay? So under this advanced search, what we want to do is we want to find jobs in Ontario for cooks because we know that there are a lot of LMI approvers in that job category. Well, how do you do that? First, you filter your location by Ontario. So on the provinces and territories list, you look for Ontario and you click on it. As you can see here, I've already clicked on Ontario. Okay. Then I will go, you know, further down. All right. I will go further down right and then you come to the job categories. You are looking for jobs for cooks. All right, so if I go down, cooks, they are under sales and service occupations. So they are under sales and service occupation. If I click on this, it's going to display the subcategories under sales and service occupations. One of them is cooks. If I tick on cooks, it already shows me that there are 761 open positions for which employers are ready to hire international applicant in ontario so if i click on this and i come to the top of the page it shows me that there are 761 results i can right click and open that on another page okay so i'm opening it on a new tab all right which you can see here so i've been able to filter using this information that i have here i've been able to filter for 
job placements in Ontario for cooks for which the employers have already received LMI approval. Okay, so basically, if I click on that, I would see a list of jobs. All of these jobs are jobs for cooks only and only in Ontario. So if I'm a cook, for example, this is where I will start applying for jobs. Basically, if you use this data quite well, it can actually position you to easily get a job because you are not just applying for random jobs. You are only searching for jobs for which the employers already have LMI approval. Don't, don't forget that this is only for Ontario. Okay, we will do other videos for other uh, provinces and you can see what are the top 10 occupations for which employers have received LMI approval and for which there are most of the opportunities for international applicants. So this is Ontario. So if you are looking for a job in Ontario, it's easy for you to get a job in these following occupations. General farm workers, cooks, food service supervisors, transport truck drivers, nursery and greenhouse workers, laborers in food, beverage, and associated product processing, construction trades, construction trades helpers and laborers, food counter attendants, kitchen helpers, and related support occupations, harvesting laborers, and operators and attendants in amusement, recreation, and sport. So what does this mean? What it means is that employers in Canada generally have difficulties finding sufficient people to fill these jobs within Ontario. That's what they are saying. And as a result of that, because they can't find suitable people in Canada, they have received authorization from the government to hire people from outside Canada. Now, don't forget that when there is a job opening, that is an economic opportunity. And if that job is not filled, it has an overall effect on the Canadian economy. For that to be avoided, Instead of leaving that job open because there are no people in Canada, right? The government would rather give the authorization to the employer to find suitable people from outside Canada. So that's the logic behind this video, okay? So all of these jobs you are seeing right here in Ontario, you have a higher chance of getting a job offer in these areas because they already have LMI approvals, okay? So basically, we wanted to drop this out here for you guys to understand what are the tips that can help you land a job quickly. We only did for cooks. You can use that same uh, search criteria, that same tip which I shared for you to find jobs, for example, transport truck drivers, for example. And under that, you actually have a lot of jobs. For example, at the moment, you have 301 jobs for truck drivers and operators in Ontario. I also opened a third one, food service supervisors in Ontario. You have 914 opportunities for you to get a job as a restaurant supervisor, as a food service supervisor, as a shift manager in a fast food restaurant, as a food service supervisor, as a restaurant supervisor, and all of these related job categories. The reason why is because employers have received authorization from Canadian government to hire foreign workers, okay? So guys, we've been talking about Ontario and how you can easily get a job and which occupations, okay, are the most demanded right now in Ontario, okay? We will do other videos for other provinces. For example, if you are interested in finding a job in another province that we haven't considered, you can drop it in the comment section, all right? And then we will actually find time to do a video on how you can find a job in that province and then what are the top 10 occupations patients that are highly in demand for which employers have been unable to fill those vacancies in Canada. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, now guys, in rounding up, I will still like to inform you guys that Immigrate with Army offers a one-on-one -on -one consultation session. Okay, so we've been receiving quite a number of emails. Unfortunately, we cannot help everyone. Okay, we can't. It's even difficult responding to all of the emails because of the volume of emails we are receiving all right so to make it easy and to make it focus so that we don't waste our time and your time we have a consultation session that you can book the link is in the video description all right you can book it directly from there if you book it it will take you automatically to our calendar page where you can book a time for us to actually have that session 
all right now the thing is that it's not something that you must do right it's just an added service if you want it if you need specialized support you don't know what to do you don't know how to start you need some form of support you need for example you need us to review your profile and then to tell you which pathway will be best for you you need us to share some insider tips with you you need us to give you different templates about canadian cv format and you know cover letter format you need us to share with you some job portals where you can get visa sponsorship job those are the things that we cover in this one-on-one -on -one session so if you are interested please go to the video description and request for the consultation it's always a pleasure speaking with you guys we wish you guys all the best and have a lovely day thank you